Hey guys, welcome to week 36 in reef keeping. Um, we've worked with the nano cube a little bit, and the 55 is doing great. And more of my Brooklyn hat. Paying a little respect to reefing with O. He has hooked me up in the last couple of weeks. So, stay tuned. Okay, here you see my new bubble tip anemone from Reefing with O. Um, he had it attached to this little measuring cup, so I stuck it in between the rocks because that's about where I would like it to be, on that rock just below it. And just within a few minutes, it went off the rock, off the cup, and onto the rock. So, very happy with where it decided to park itself. And it has been there for about two days. And then you see my Kenya tree up there is also doing well. Along with that red dragon's breath macroalgae. Um, it's all doing really well. And I even got a mushroom rock in there from Reefing with O as well. So the cube is taking shape. And the five little clowns are loving life in there. So... We'll see where this goes. Um, like I said, it's all doing just great. Hey, we have a new family member here at Dave's Nano Tanks. This is Garth the Cat. Um, a friend of the family had Garth the Cat. He's about eight years old. They were moving and couldn't bring him with them. And uh, so... We took Garth into our home. I have no idea why he's got the haircut he's got, but I'm sure it'll grow back. And uh, he's cool. He's just getting used to us, same as we're getting used to him. So everybody, welcome Garth to Dave's Nano Tanks. Good looking cat. Well, say goodbye to a fish tank. <laughs> it's pretty good, pretty busted. And the new one. Thank God the dollar per gallon sales on. I don't know what these cost when they're not a dollar per gallon, but probably 40 bucks. Who the heck wants to do that? <laughs> but yeah, we got a hole. Actually, the front panel on this, well, one of the front panels was tempered. So I'm glad I watched my video. Down in the fuge, our Molly's babies are starting to look like Molly's. Or at least fish. They're getting more of a fish shape to them. Uh, there's two in here. There's one in the sump section, and there's one in the return section. So, that's four of them. And... They're still surviving. Uh, the Calerpa has gone just crazy in here. Um, just got the 20 high in place last week. I am going to move all of the macroalgae into the 20 high. And this will just have a little bit of rubble and um, chato in it. So I'm going to run this one 24 hours. And the 24 high I will run on a separate light schedule from the main display. So, we should be exporting plenty of nutrients. As so you can see, I am also getting a lot of um, hair algae and just green grunge algae on the walls of the fuge. And I don't mind that, because it's not up in the display, and I could just get in there and scrape it out. And that's exporting nutrients. I don't know if you can tell, but there's some pod movement down in the rubble rock. I'm zoomed in on the rubble in the fuge. You can see some pods moving around. Also have some uh, 
mini serpent stars and a few bristle worms in there. So it's a good fuge. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And just give you a further back view of what's going on in my sump. Uh, got two returns coming in with the uh, protein skimmer. Protein skimmer is doing good. Uh, the first time I got a really, really thick, dry skim, and uh, I didn't have the height on it right. So then I leveled it out because it was a little low in the sump, or the water level was a little too high, I should say. So I leveled it out by putting a couple pieces of PVC just wire tied to the bottom of it. There we go. And it gave me a very wet skim, so uh, play with the adjustment. I want to be somewhere in between there, but it's definitely pulling out some horrible stuff, which uh, I'm glad it's not in my tank. <laughs> Over in the 20 high here, let me move this. I have two decent sized pieces of uh, Bukani, Pukani from the Live Rock tank. MILFS. Um, the 20 high is not circulating yet with the main system. You see, I'm just bubbling in there. I have a heater in there. And I just want to make sure I'm not going to get any spikes out of that Pukani from the Live Rock tank. And give it another couple of days, and then I'll. That Pukani is actually going up into the main display. So I have some rocks up there that have vermidity snails in them and they're casting webs so I don't like that in my main display but I do not mind it in a refugium because again it's just another form of filter feeding out of the water column so it's actually not bad for a uh, refugium if you could tell right about dead center of the screen uh, I'm bubble scrubbing right now it's actually going on a little bit crazy but you see that web coming out of the rock it's from a vermitted snail and there's three or four of them in this piece of rock so I will be replacing that with the Pukani out of the 20 high and uh, we'll put that down in the fuge because it is filter feeding so why not have it in the fuge something new this week is I didn't get any new frags so kind of a bummer <laughs> but I'll work on that actually I did get the new anemone from uh, oh so that kind of counts but this is a little view of the tank just got very red I'm not digging this gel filter I got and this side of the tank I'm kind of doing my uh, LPS stuff got a little Fabia there a couple of trumpets, a couple of hammers, and then down here I got a couple of acans going on. Yep, and you caught me. There's a dead stylo. <laughs> it happens. A little photo bomb. That guy's pretty cool. You know, they talk about wrasses taking care of pests, but some of those little damsels do, do a pretty good job, too. I mean, he's always hunting and pecking the rocks. So we move over here. Get some of the mushrooms coming in. My coral banded shrimp decided to come out and give us a good shot. He's pretty big. I really love the span that he has on those antennas. Look at that.
And everybody loves to eat. To e. Mice's pellet and a little bit of flake food. Everybody's got something they like. And that's about it for this week. Uh, I gotta go work on my car, so I'm gonna cut us a little short this week. But thanks for watching and uh, appreciate a thumbs up if you could do it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.